So in my last video, I talked about the unfortunate situation the Actman has been put in after YouTube fully demonetized his channel for his ongoing feud with Quantum TV. A situation that literally everybody online agrees Actman is in the right on, even people who are normally at each other's throats. But there is one person, just one singular person who is on Quantum TV's side. That being the ex-YouTuber JayStation, who got banned off YouTube for making horror videos for kids, which consists of content like buying a black slave on the dark web there has actually been slaves for sale on the dark web guys actual slaves that people can buy to do everything for them so like but in right now let's hit 40,000 likes this is gonna be crazy guys pretending to contact recently deceased celebrities with a Ouija board as well as staging the death of his own girlfriend so I guess it's no surprise that JayStation has such a fucked up opinion on the situation but regardless of how bad it is the way he's expressed himself on Twitter with this Actman versus Quantum TV situation? I can't see as anything other than comedic, even if that's not his intention. Because holy shit, just look at some of these tweets. In his first response to the Actman, he says, "Hello, you tried to get someone banned like a little rat, and then get demonetized. You deserve it." Lol, this guy tried to get someone banned off the internet and failed. Then YouTube went and demonetized him, calling for people to get banned is fucked up. This guy is a rat. Go sign up for food stamps. You're not getting money on YouTube forever now. The dark age of YouTube. What an idiot. Making big ass documentaries calling for people to get banned is retarded. I'm sorry. It just is. JayStation then posts a video about this with the caption. My thoughts on Actman. Spoiler. I think it's funny. What's going on, guys? Um... Just wanted to hop on and say, what's up? This is my new channel on Facebook. Um, and right off the bat, I do not give a fuck if you like what I say or not. In fact, it's going to get me excited if you don't like what I say. It just makes me happy knowing that there's some loser in their basement with, with no life who's going who's gonna to get really agitated and pissed and can't do shit about it. That fucking turns me on, dude. So this one's for, for any hater. So I'm going to speak on this Ant, Ant-Man and Quantum TV bullshit. Um, because I feel like this guy Ant-Man is a little bitch. And the entire internet is backing him for no fucking reason at all. The same guys are backing this Ant-Man who tried to get me banned. So they're trying to get this other guy banned now too. Quantum TV. He's a black guy. I actually feel bad for this guy. Like, he must have been shitting himself thinking that he was going to get banned <laughs> because this loser Ant-Man, a grown man who likes superheroes, can you imagine a, a bigger pussy than that? Um, Getting all fucking pissed off because oh, my video got striked down because I, I, I was using copyright. Bro, if you got a big deal about the copyright, then sue Quantum. Don't try to get him banned off of YouTube. Make a big ass list of everything he's ever done. You're a fucking bitch. You're a bitch, dude. You get, how are you gonna try to get other people banned? You got issues, bro. You actually got issues. You got to go and get everybody all involved about, and Quantum didn't do shit. He didn't, he didn't even, he didn't even Use co uh, cop falsely copyright strike you, bro. If he did, you would have sued him. But no, you try to look like this morally. Like you got too much morals and you don't know what to do with. And then you got all these like other people like uh, some ordinary gamer. Backing you. Same guy who tried to get me to platform. Like what's with these people trying to get people to platform? It's like if that pisses you off. If something someone's doing is pissing you off so bad. Then block them. Don't watch them. Don't watch them. Period. If and if you did block them and you just it's 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 unavoidable. Seeing this guy you hate's name is so unavoidable because all of your friends are talking. Then you need to shut off social media, bro. Maybe social media is not for you. If you get that butt hurt and that upset, where you need to call legions of people to try to feel like you're powerful. To get someone else banned, you're a sad, you're just sad.
You're just sad. You're never going nowhere. And that's the real, that's the real checkmate. <laughs> you're not going nowhere. Go and hate and call. Call for people to get banned all you like. All you like. You already banned yourself from ever winning because you're too fixated. It's like this. It's like, why do people care about Kim Kardashian? And oh, is she dating Pete Davidson? Oh, did you hear Pete Davidson got Kanye's names? Ta Bro, you don't know these people. You don't. You just want to feel like, oh, you're like your life sucks so bad where you got to get excited about some guy you don't even know. I've had people. I've had people obsess over me, too. So I get it. I have obsessed over other people in my past. So I get it. I get it. But I never did it when I was successful ever. I just got too much going on to care about someone else's life. I don't care. I'm trying to do my life the best. Why I care about, why should I spend 10 seconds wondering about Pete Davidson? I don't even know him. If he's my friend, it's a different story, but I don't even know him. Don't want to idolize these people. Did you ever expect me to come up here and say all this shit? Probably not. It's because your idea of someone is not truly who they are. It's bullshit. Just idolize yourself. Put yourself in a winning position. I'll tell you what, when I stop idolizing all these people, all these celebrities and, and doing, getting upset over issues like this, over bullshit, like you, you think I'm any, any, you think any successful people is typing on the internet right now. We need to get quantum TV banned for copyright abuse. He violated YouTube's terms of service. Nobody's successful saying that bullshit. So if you're the one saying it, you're fucked up in the head. It's truth, man. And if you did it, don't take this as, as I'm offending you. Just realize what, realize it and be like, holy fuck, I did do this. Like, bro, I really do gotta just go make something of my fucking life. Start working out, start getting a hobby, start trying to make a side hustle or start trying to get yourself somewhere other than on the computer worried about quantum TV. It's ridiculous. And to try, and it's even more ridiculous for Ant Man to try to go and say that it's all oh, YouTube's this huge. This YouTube's a bad place who allows all this bullshit. You're trying to get YouTube fucking bad publicity now, cause you're bullshit. Cause you're butt hurt about Quantum TV, bro. If you're that butt hurt, sue them like you're supposed to. YouTube's not. It's not YouTube's job to worry about co copyright, at all. At all. You just look like a tattletale. YouTube, he's broken this terms of service, this one too. He's done bullying. He's done harassment. He's he's um supported bad things. You look like a bitch and you are a bitch. So anybody doing critiques about movies, getting a hard on for superheroes in their late 30s, red flag, dude, red flag. His name is the Ant-Man. Like, this guy thinks he's a, in, a, in a fucking comic book. It's a little bitch. <laughs> it's so funny to see these same people who, you know, it just happened to me, okay? This is the whole reason I'm just talking about this is because people already called to get me banned for some bullshit from a story, a plot line, dude, over a plot line. Same people who called for this are back in this Ant-Man guy. And Ant-Man's calling for... Why are you calling for anybody to be banned? So it's so fucking hilarious when Ant-Man gets his channel fucking demonetized. Bro, your YouTube career is over. If you're trying to fight this shit, I already been through it, dude. I already been through it. They're not gonna... They're never gonna... Bro, you're gonna apply for your monetization in 30 days. And they're never gonna... They're never gonna approve it, dude. So just go and move on. Do what I did, man. Make YouTube channels and make, you know, do it in a way that doesn't show your sorry ass face. Because guess what, man? How's it feel to be banned? Just like the you were just calling on someone else to feel the exact same pain that you're going through right now. So that is fucking hilarious. And you deserve every fucking bit for even trying to get other people banned. You are a fucking problem in modern society with this cancel culture bullshit. If you got a problem, sue his ass. Shut up and make your stupid video about movies. You.
pussy. That's what you should have did. You look like a fool. And everybody, and I, dude, the same exact people who tried to get me banned were backing this Ant-Man. That's why it's even more hilarious for me. It's fucking hilarious. You know, cancel culture sucks, guys. I mean, I rambled on for a lot. Never try to get, you know what? The ultimate, the only way to get banned, the true way to get banned is if you do something so bad, you end up in jail. There is no more posting on Twitter. There is no more posting on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, nothing when you're in jail. When you're in jail, you're banned. You're That's how you get banned. If it's not, if it's not going to get them in jail, then shut the fuck up about it and don't try to get them deplatformed. If it's, if he's such a bad person, he'll go to jail. If not, then you just got a problem with them at this time. It doesn't matter if all the YouTube, like so many people hated so many other people that are just fine now. Bro, it's like, oh, Shane Dawson did this. Okay, now he's canceled for a while and then, it, then it'll be fine. It's like, bro, he didn't do anything that bad or you'd be in jail. Okay. Uh, anyways, I rambled on for a while. I probably wanted to say stuff that uh, I didn't get to. Um, I'm going to the cottage. I rented this cottage for like two weeks. I'm bringing my dog. Uh, it's got a hot tub. I'm going to get start eating right. Um, getting fit now. Basically, I just I just finished this grind marathon of hustling for the last two weeks. But now I'm set up for the next month. So I'm going to relax for two weeks. Uh, get my mind right, prepared. And then I'm going to go even harder. Uh, anyways, love you guys. Uh, I'm not trying to blow up on this channel. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what you think. If you don't like me, it sucks to be you, bro, because your life's shit. Stop watching YouTube, random Facebook and stuff about me then, bro. Just stop watching and your life will probably get better if you're going to get so pissed about what I'm saying. Um, and you know what? I'm no longer, like, I'm banned. You can't ban me twice, bro. What are you going to do? Okay, the Facebook's gone. Boo-hoo, bro. I was never making money on it anyway. I don't give a fuck. So go try to do it. I don't give a shit. Try it. Anyways, love you guys. Um, will I ever do YouTube again? I'll make another video about it, guys. Love you. Peace. Jay Station then continues his Twitter rampage when he tweets out, His channel isn't even growing, but I call for his termination. This guy's a psycho! Instead of countering the copyright claim in court, he decides this will take his career to the next level, then got demonetized. Fail of the year! I hope this happened to anyone else trying to get people banned and talking about how YouTube is such a shit platform, while making millions from it. Whoever thinks I have a bad take, you are very mistaken. The act man fucked up big time, brought all kinds of drama to YouTube for his own self gain online instead of legally pursuing the problem. Publicly trashed YouTube and their employees while trying to get someone terminated. He needs to move on and just find a new path. I could help him on YouTube. If he's going to do YouTube, he can never promote it, use his voice or face or call it the same name or even his own name or he will get terminated just like I did. Actman is done. If Actman would have got someone terminated, he would be laughing. But now he got his career terminated effectively. He knows how it would feel and now wants your sympathy. All YouTuber who called for Quantum TV to be terminated have dangerous minds. Jay Station then responds to Actman's tweet saying, Don't harass anyone involved in this by saying, He doesn't want you making threats against YouTuber Quantum TV anymore now that he's being threatened. LOL! He was just calling out YouTube employees and tried to get people terminated a day ago! Actman responds by saying, Shouldn't you be summoning dead celebrities or something? Jay Station responds, Yeah, you're one of them now, buddy. LOL! I have come back just to talk to the latest dead celebrity at Actman. <laughs> The Act Man, if you need any money soon, I'll buy your play button from you. You're too angry right now, but in six months, let me know. The Act Man is now part of the elite club of us banned people. Only legendary people like Trump, Alex Jones, Leafy is here are part of. Congratulations, we are the new Illuminati. It's all nerds attacking me. You can tell by the avatars. The Ant-Man hasn't a clue when these YouTubers are supporting him until the next story happens. I'm sorry, I open YouTube, it's all I see. I am just laughing at how stupid it is. The fact he think that YouTube gives a shit about him, or the fact he thinks he's a martyr, or like he is important in any way at all? He is a rat! Tattletale! Trying to have people removed. 
Karma! Red flags. The Ant-Man lives with his mom as a rich YouTuber in his 30s. The Ant-Man loves superheroes and thinks he is one. The Ant-Man publicly calls for YouTubers to be deplatformed if they make a video game review he disagrees with. Hashtag justice for Ant-Man. Wait, didn't all these YouTubers tweeting hashtag justice for Ant-Man get mad that I doxed Keemstar? But Ant-Man does it to YouTube after they had a shooter at their headquarters not too long ago. Wow. I guess they support horrible acts of violence like the YouTube shooting. At this point, I'm thinking if Quantum TV was white and made the Elden Ring review, none of this would have happened. Jay Station then responds to another one of Ackman's tweets and says, Yeah. Keep bashing YouTube. Seems like a good plan. This is hilarious because Ant-Man is clearly a psychopath who thought he had too much power to terminate people for pathetic reasons stemming from a video game review he disagreed with. You are truly pathetic if you support him. After you try bashing YouTube some more, Act-Man, if that doesn't work, maybe try threatening them and their employees. Maybe you could leak their home addresses? Oh, you tried that already? Okay, I'll think of a new plan to get you unbanned. I just subscribed to Quantum TV. What channel will you guys watch now? that rat man is banned. The act man tries to hide the real reason YouTube demonetized him because he knew he fucked up, even though YouTube already publicly gave the reason his channel was demonetized. But regardless, continuing with Jay's tweet, he says, he had support, so we choose to cover up evidence to keep the public on his side. You can prove he knew he fucked up because he deleted the tweets. My take is the correct take. It's better to be on the 1% side with me. Don't be a sheep. He was worried when he found out Philip DeFranco knew the real reason he was banned. Philip read him his deleted tweet to his face. It had him shook. Go and watch it. He's a snake. Don't call for people to get banned. I'm right, you're wrong. After all of this rambling from JStation, the Actman tweets out some of JStation's tweets and captions them by saying, I like how the only other content creator defending Quantum TV is also a certified psychopath, birds of a feather. Jared responds to Actman by saying, You were giving him more exposure than he's ever had just by tweeting this, bruh. Actman responds, Yep. And he knows he ain't gonna get exposure like that ever again. He had 5 million subs, but this tweet can barely manage to hit 50 likes, laughing my ass off. JayStation responds to him by saying, 7 years, 300 million views. Lol, Actman, it's over now, dude. The excitement about this drama is burning out now. At least you won't have to move back into your mom's basement. You already live there. I think I had like 10 videos adding up to his entire 7 year career. There's only 2 creators left who didn't absolutely fall off after calling for my ban. Pretty good times. The difference between me and the Ant-Man is that IMO was going to succeed. He's trying to flex Twitter numbers after he's banned. He thinks he's given me more attention than I've ever gotten? Lol. I can't believe it. Ant-Man has put zero other YouTubers on. He has made zero millionaires. You guys are right. I shouldn't even be talking about this loser. I'm pretty sure the amount of views I've given to channels bashing me is greater than his entire channel times 10. What is he talking about? Now, Ant-Man. Let's see who can flex a million dollars cash the quickest. Me or you now that YouTube's over? Who are you betting on? Relevant for what? I don't understand. The way I look at it is this. I have no fucking clue who you insignificant fucks even are, but you know me. Why do people think I'm after clout with a terminated YouTube channel? You think I'm gonna become a millionaire Twitter tweeter? I never even promote Twitter or Instagram. I don't care about it if it doesn't make money. I'm speaking against cancel culture. JayStation then makes a flurry of Twitter videos back to back, talking about this situation, as well as later on in his Twitter videos, addressing a video that Review Tech USA made on him, which is essentially the same as this video up until now, but just with a little bit more added opinion and commentary, specifically saying that Jay Station's YouTube ban prevented another adpocalypse, as well as claiming that Jay is tweeting about the act man for clout. Anyways, here's what Jay said in his Twitter videos. Alright guys, just watch the uh, Review Tech USA video on me. Um, it's more stupid. Like, a lot of what he said is not stupid. But the whole clout chaser thing, like, I'm do, doing, trying to get attention. Like, bro, what, what am I trying to get attention for? To do well and be successful? No, bro, I'm banned. I don't, I'm not saying none of this for attention. It's the stupidest thing. Just use your head, bro. I can't become a millionaire Twitter tweeter. Okay, what am I going to do? Accept Bitcoin now on Twitter? No. <laughs> like, bro, I'm standing up for cancel culture. This guy, the act man, has a million some subscribers calling for this 60K sub channel to be terminated, bro. Openly saying, I'm going to try to get him terminated. And this is causing all kinds of support for Ackman. Are you guys really understand what, what cancel culture and this whole rallying to cancel people's careers actually does? Like, it's disgusting, bro. You're just making the, the, the platform actually worse. And another thing, like, newsflash for everybody. 
um, you know, it's okay that I got banned. It's not okay that the Act Man got banned. It's not okay that Leafy got banned. It would have been okay if Quantum got banned, bro. And you know what? There's reasons for every single one of these people that I just named to be banned. Like the Act Man, bro. He deserves it. Like he actually deserves it, man. It's like the biggest backfire on the planet. But it's like, you guys are just picking and choosing who is it okay to ban and who isn't. When in reality, nobody should be banned, bro. <laughs> like I said before, the only real way to be banned should be to go to jail. Because you can't make YouTube, you can't tweet. Other than that, this is a copyright dispute, bro. YouTube doesn't get involved with copyright dispute. He has every, Quantum has every right to file a dispute, whether it's right or wrong. It's for the court to decide what's fair use. Okay, you can't rally up and just terminate. Yo, he struck my channel. How dare he terminate him? Here's the thing. Uh, one more thing, guys. Here's the thing. A lot of people, you guys don't even realize this, but like half the people that you guys look up to are in reality fucking losers, bro. Let's be, let's be real, okay? Like if, if you ever see a fucking dude who, who's wearing the same greasy ass white, white fucking shirt and it's got longer hair than your girlfriend, you gotta you just wait until you're older and you'll fucking figure it out. But these guys' opinions aren't fucking gold, okay? Like these people have wrong takes and they're obviously supporting cancel culture. They're obviously doing it, which makes them horrible. Because if it wasn't, if YouTube and the internet wasn't around, what would there be? There would be hangings, and, and be, these people would be calling for it. You know, terminate him, terminate him. He should be terminated because this reason. Think about it, bro. Think about it. Now, look. If you're put yourself in quantum shoes, if you think that, or put yourself in anybody's shoes, if if you think someone's using your copyrighted stuff, your your content. And you don't think it's fair use. You have every right to believe that. And you have every right to take a, to submit a copyright claim. And you have every right to go to court about it. But aren't these same YouTubers that are attacking Quantum for doing that, the same guys sitting on Twitch for hours and going like, hmm, well, uh, it's kind of interesting. And just, just like watch straight up hour long fucking shows collecting thousands of dollars in, in Twitch stream donations. So it seems kind of like, you know, it, it seems right that these YouTubers would try to take Quantum out. They don't want people that are gonna like use their copyright ability. They don't. Am I right or right? Or are you just gonna say, uh, you, you, you using Ouija board on people, bro? And um, I just wanna talk about what you, um, Review Tech USA said that I got banned because YouTube was gonna have an apocalypse. Well, did they have an apocalypse? No. Was there gonna be one? No, because it was a plot line, bro. It was a plot line. I didn't do really anything. I didn't do anything bad. You're taking like five years of stuff I did, condensing it into like two sentences, and that's why I deserve to get banned. I guess they do the same thing with Quantum TV. They'll do it to anybody, really. But you know who really started this cancel culture? is really Keemstar. You know, he tried to get me canceled for years, but then he outright said it. And look what happened after that. Now everybody's getting banned. YouTube, you can't say nothing. You can't swear. Bro, there's all kinds of policies now and everyone's getting banned. And it all stems back to Keemstar. Let's keep it real, bro. Let's keep it real. That's the 100% truth, bro. Did anybody call for Vitaly to get banned? No, he beat the fuck out of a girl, bro. Some complete stranger. This guy's a fucking lunatic. He's on drugs, bro. This guy's like whole life revolves around getting pussy, bro. Ultimate. Bro, this guy must have like a one inch dick. All right, nobody call for him to get banned, bro. Beat the fuck out of a girl. Goes on YouTube boxing, everybody loves the guy. Like, when are you guys gonna understand that you, you just forming your opinions based off what people in greasy white tees say? It's ridiculous, bro. It's like, whenever you guys graduate from high school, maybe you'll start like, your, your brain will fully develop and you'll start like thinking a bit. Think, bro. There's not very many free thinkers in today's age, which is, which is very sad. Very sad, but whatever. I'm just, look man, clout what? I'm just speaking my mind. I can't speak my mind being a YouTuber because everybody's afraid of getting demonetized nowadays. But look bro, I'm not. So I'm just continue to say it like it is. You guys want to make it seem like, oh, an adpocalypse was going to happen because of quantum. There's no adpocalypse happening because somebody believes they got their copyright infringed on. No, that's not how it works. 
Twitter doesn't decide whether quantum is it, rights have been infringed. No, it, it happens in court, bro. No Twitter mob makes the law. That's not how life works. You really, you guys really think that's how life works? It's not. It's not. Want to talk about apocalypse, bro? They got illegal gambling, crypto scams, NFTs. Nobody says shit about it. As a matter of fact, half these people you guys love, but they're they're friends with the guys with the white tees. That's what I'm saying, bro. Use your brain a bit. There's crazy corruption, crazy corrupt. Like, bro, there's a lot of fucked up people on YouTube that you guys love. You never watched my channel anyway to know if I was really bad. You just took your opinion from some guy. You guys really believe that I was so bad that six and a half million people were compelled to subscribe? Do you? Or so bad that I was able to do YouTube for like five years and get billions of views? Am I saying I'm perfect? No. But, you know, I, I, I basically I'm just tell you like it is. I became a punching bag for, for YouTubers, which is, I'm cool with, I don't really care. Cause like I said before in like old video, they're losers. And they got shit on me, man. They ain't got shit on me. Watch, I'm gonna be banned and still be more successful on YouTube than them. <laughs> like Keepstar's got two, two million views, bro. I think I, I think I'll have more viewers on my secret channel in like a month. Okay, yeah, this is literally my last tweet. I, I just deleted the other one because I misspoke it. But basically, what I was saying is, you know how many times I was a YouTuber during this whole fucking COVID shit, and it's, I didn't say a fucking word, bro. I didn't say a fucking word about my opinion because I was sitting there fucking scared shitless, like a little bitch. Oh, what if they're gonna do this? I know they don't like COVID. Uh, people that are anti-COVID, so I'm not gonna say shit and the world's like crumbling and I can't say shit Well, I got all this fucking millions of influence and I can't even speak my fucking mind So now that I'm banned, I'm definitely gonna speak my fucking mind And I think with the COVID shit the jokes on you guys first of all It just vanished out of thin fucking air. Nobody talks about COVID at all. It's gone. It just disappeared But guess what you're stuck with four fucking vaccines and In 20 years, we'll see what happens, but me. I don't got none so I guess the joke's on you, bro. Or whoever was for COVID, I guess, supporting COVID. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, peace. Okay, one last video, okay? And I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm just turning my phone off after this. But it's basically all my comments are like, stands for that man. So basically it's like, everybody's saying, well, dude, he falsely flagged him. Quantum falsely flagged the video. You don't know that, bro. They didn't go to court, man. They didn't go to court. You don't know for sure. You just know the one-sided thing. You know what face value, what you think is falsely copyright claiming videos. You don't know if Quantum has a legitimate claim. They never went to court. Shit doesn't get settled on Twitter. Why did Johnny Depp and Amber Heard go to court? Because Twitter doesn't fucking rule the world, dude. We don't make decisions based on what the Twitter mob says. People go to court and put up a fight for their argument and, and unbiased people make decisions about it, not on Twitter. Okay, fuck what your favorite YouTuber said about it. There was no decision ever made that it was false copyright. If you're gonna say that Quantum falsely f flagged down a video, you gotta have some proof that Quantum knowingly knew that this was fair use and did it anyway. Can you know that? No. You can't know. Are you inside Quantum's head? No. So in his brain, Ant-Man was using this content. He fucking struck it down for copyright. All right? And it's not falsely flagging anyone until they go to court. They fucking settle it. And even then, if Quantum lost in court, bro, can you prove that he falsely did it? Like his intention was to fucking take it down even though he knew it was fair use? No, you can never prove this. He didn't break the fucking terms of service, bro. And the only person who did was the Ant-Man. That's the only person who fucking broke the terms of service. But like I've been saying, since you can't prove Quantum falsely flagged anyone, like he, knew, he knowingly did it when he knew it was fair use. No, he had a legitimate fucking, a legitimate thing in his brain saying, this guy's using my content. I don't think it's fair use. And he has every fucking right to do it, bro. 
every right to submit a form and remove it. And then it goes to the court. YouTube stays the fuck out of it. But what do you got? You got Ant-Man go in and say, fuck court. I'm going to just not abide by the law and do the whole fucking the, the, the legal thing. And I'm going to just go in openly call for his termination. Oh, let's dig through all of his fucking shit in his past and try to fucking stir up something and fuck this guy. Let's get him terminated. And then you got everybody just backing the Ant-Man. It's fucking sad. You guys really got to question your fucking life and how influential you uh, how influenced you are to other people. Like, bro, you guys are literally taking the opinion of people that, like, literally, they're grease balls, bro. They're literally the, I told you, the one guy got the white tee on for the last five years and hasn't got a haircut since then either. And then Mudahar, the same guy who went on YouTube bashing me, say, he wasn't in the army. God was. Same guy said, I phoned the police and guess what? They said he didn't have a warrant. He's lying. Well, bro, I did have a warrant. <laughs> I did. Okay. And it's like, the other guy said, uh, he didn't get robbed. I did get robbed. Bro, literally 99% of everything they've said about me, bro, is fake. And then, but then the audience thinks, oh, bro, everything they say is real, dude. No, bro. No, you think I'm for kids because, and you find it hard to believe people actually believe it. I find it, dude, you're just like a little older than a kid. You're like 13. And I find it fucking crazy that you believe them. This is literally the life of people that you guys look up to, okay? Like, this is the life. This is their life, guys. You notice how I'm, I'm like sitting in a gaming chair? All right, never move. Never get up. Never ever. Skip the shower. Skip changing clothes. Skip haircuts. Everything. Okay, now let's go on Twitter. Okay, a lot of people are just hating on this guy. All right, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna make a quick $5,000. I'm gonna just side with whatever everybody's talking about. Regardless. All right, guys, there's a huge problem here on YouTube. You know, you got this guy, Quantum TV. He's horrible. He's horrible. He's talking about LGBTQ and he's a bad guy. You know what? Fuck YouTube. You, you, you went too far now. You're going to get us all and guys, smash the like on the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's all. Oh, there's another thing that people care about. Oh, people don't like the new Halo thing. Okay, I'm going to talk about that. That's it. That's all they do, bro. Why do you think all every single commentary channel have the exact same fucking take? Because they don't give a fuck. They don't share their actual opinion. Because like I said, YouTube has all these fucking things where you can't say your own fucking opinion. So they pick stupid topics like whether Halo, the fucking TV show, is good or not. Because And they just go with the fuck what people want to hear because they like getting the fucking free money, bro. They hit a little gold mine. And it's just free money. At least what I do, bro, I had to fucking plan out a fucking script and stories and get fucking actors and shit. These grease balls just sit on the computer and don't even share with you your their regular opinion. They don't. They don't. They just want the fucking easy thing. They want the group, the mass mob to just back everything they say. Go watch. Why are you subscribed to Critical and, and some ordinary gamer? It's the exact same opinion 50 times on different channels. None of them are real opinions. Since you guys are so fucking smart, unlike my audience, you know, because they're kids, even though you're like 13, 14, and you got a cartoon avatar, uh, go on to Optimus, go on to Some Ordinary Gamer, go on to Critical's channel, and what's the odds that they would have the exact same fucking opinions about literally every single fucking topic for the last five fucking years? It's because they don't tell you their actual opinion. You're being milked, bro. You're like a little fucking cow to them. They're just sucking on your fucking nipples. I'm gonna leave it off with some positivity because you know what? These last two days have been just like completely negative because of the Ant-Man. But guess what? The Ant-Man's banned. He's not coming back. And it is what it is. It's done. So I'm gonna stop talking about him now. I shared my opinion. And that's something I'm going to do from now on. I'm just gonna, you know, share my opinion. And if, and if you're a fan and you don't like me now because I shared my opinion, then that's okay. That's, that is, it is what it is. Everybody's different. Everybody has their opinion. And nobody should really be afraid to, to share their opinion, even if they know that a lot of people don't, don't share the same opinion. So everybody should speak their opinion. And big shout out to you if you still follow me, even after a year after I've been banned. So am I coming back to YouTube? No, because I'm banned. Same with Ant-Man. But I'm going to go on Facebook. I'm going to make some videos. I'm trying to get a group of people together, guys. So it's going to be like a month or two. But I'm in no rush because I'm banned.
but it's coming. So I love you guys. So that's finally everything that Jay Station had to say, outside of some Twitter replies, but honestly, as funny as he is, I think we've heard enough Jay Station for now. Now I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think Jay Station has any legitimate points at all, or do you think he's being completely crazy? Whatever your opinion is, be sure to share it in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video on the Actman situation, as I still have quite a few things to cover before we move on to the next story. So again, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss that. If you want more updates and opinions from me, be sure to follow me on Twitter. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.